Is it possible that MTV is actually making a good show? Hey everybody. So you may have seen my video before on the Shannara Chronicles, the first look from the Comic-Con. And uh, in that one I also said, you know, when I saw MTV was uh, producing it, I was a little disappointed because, well, it's MTV. They don't make good shows. They make those crap reality BS teeny bopper shit. But... I'm wondering if they just gave money to John Favreau and uh, stepped back and let Favreau make it because it looks good and I really want it to be good because I like Terry Brooks's books so I'm still hesitant I mean it is MTV they have a long history of not making anything worth watching Hopefully this is worth watching. Maybe we'll get a new era of MTV. Maybe they'll start making some good stuff. I'm going to watch it when it comes out. I'm going to give it at least three episodes, which I give all new shows at least three episodes. And uh, But from everything I see in the trailers, it looks amazing. I the only thing I can think of that would make it go to crap is if they turn it to serialized, or not serialized, uh, to episode -y, where everything is a self-contained episode and it becomes cheesy and there's no story arc or continuity, but... From what I can tell, it looks like they're going to go with the books, which means it will have a story arc. So, fingers crossed. Hope it's good. But we're going to watch the behind-the-scenes look. It's technically episode zero, I guess you would say. It's the kind of get you uh, up to date on backstory and, and uh, characters and stuff so that when you're ready to watch the show next month in January, you're good to go. So let's check out the behind-the-scenes look for MTV's The Shannara Chronicles, produced by John Favreau. Terry See, it looks gorgeous. Amazing world that we get to live in. Harold Elfstone's uh, Shannara, over 30 years ago. Oh my god, I can't even believe that. I really love seeing my book come to life as a TV series. <laughs> The Shannara Chronicles takes place thousands of years in the future. It's long after a holocaust known as the Great Wars obliterated society as we know it. Technology uh, has disappeared and magic has replaced technology. It's actually a post-apocalyptic take on fantasy, so it has a realistic approach to humanity. It makes it a little more believable, so you can connect to it. The series is set in the place called the Four Lands, and the story centers on the city of Arbalor, which is the elven capital. And that's where our characters meet and eventually go on an epic quest to save this world. The characters of this show are fighting for a freedom from oppression, from this demonic horde. So at the end of the day, it's good versus evil. The primary antagonist is the Dagdon Lord. Together with his minions, the Changeling and the Reaper, I don't think he's going to be happy until everything is destroyed. A barrier was placed between the world of Shannara and the dark side where demons live, and that barrier is called the Elkris Tree. The Elkris is, in itself, the prison for all these demons. And once the Elkris sickens, then one by one the demons are released. This is not a good thing. The creatures in this world are sort of like a mutation of the humankind. I think that's one of the beauties of the Four Lands. It's us. We have trolls, but they're basically just deformed human beings. A lot of humans are rovers, which are sort of the gypsies who rob from people and steal from people to survive. And then there's the elves, and they're sort of the leaders of the Four Lands. But there's a lot of animosity between the different groups. And the hope is that the elves, and this is their main concern, is that they don't want to repeat the same path that the role of man took which was then to destroy the world. Everything 
is at stake for these characters, their lives, their families, their homes, life as they know it. The stakes could be higher in this world as magic and demons are being unleashed on a culture, legend, and uh, through the stories of the Shinark. We get the challenge and rising to these two ultimate consequences, things don't work out well. <laughs> Okay, so I guess part of why I'm concerned is, like, are they going to have dubstep in all the episodes, or is this just something they're doing in the trailers? Because, I mean, I could see MTV doing that, putting dubstep in all the episodes and making it the soundtrack, but that would be really stupid. I would not want to watch a fantasy movie. Not only is it a fantasy movie that or a TV show that looks really good. It's filmed in New Zealand. It has good actors. It's produced by Favreau. It's got a good uh, executive producer team. Like everything behind the camera and in front of the camera and the production value and all that looks amazing. And then you ruin it by making the soundtrack dubstep. Please don't do that. Please have a good like score. You know music that will actually invoke emotion for the scene and not some ear-piercing dubstep for an hour every episode. That would drive me insane and really disappoint me. So I'm, I'm seriously hoping that the dubstep stuff is just for the trailer. And I have nothing against dubstep. You know, I love watching uh, dance dubstep when they, the dancing is insane. And I love that stuff, but it doesn't have its place in this. It's it's totally. It it changes the tone of everything, in a, the wrong way. Make the music fit what you're trying to say, and not just try and force popular music into. You know something that's supposed to have, a timeless feel to it. You know it's like when they used to do that in the '70s when they put disco on everything. That was horrible back then, and it's horrible now. So, I mean, it's it still looks awesome. I have my reservations, but I have to watch it. I have to give it a shot. But tell me what you guys think. You want to see this show? Are you excited about it? Let, uh, comment below. Like, share, subscribe, and tell your friends. And I will see you on the next video.